Okay, so this is a problem that we did about finding the center of mass. This is actually a very general technique used in a lot of different kinds of problems, but we talked about it in the context of torque. We said that if you have a bar, and say you have two different masses on the ends of the bar, say a little m and a big M, then um, you can set x equals zero to be at some point and ask, where can the object balance? And if the object can balance on a fulcrum, that means that, I'll redraw it here, that means that the gravitational torque on one side is the same as the gravitational torque on the other side. So this point where it balances is called the center of mass. And so to find this, let's first say um, that the rod is massless. And if that's true, if the rod is massless, then it means that we're going to find the position of the center of mass by adding up a sum of just two things. And it's going to be each piece of mass times where it is, and we're going to divide by the sum of each piece of mass. In other words, the total mass. OK, so let's do that. And we're going to get then that the x center of mass is equal to uh, the little m times where the little m is, which is 0, plus the big M, and let's say the length of the rod is L, and then we're going to divide it by M plus M. And that's the answer. This goes to 0, and we're left with the big M over little m plus big M times L. So let's check. In the limit where big M is much, much bigger than little m, then the center of mass is essentially at where the big mass is. If the two masses are equal, then the center of mass is right in the middle, what we would have guessed. OK, now let's consider the rod. If we consider the rod, that means that we're going to need to add up little pieces of mass and then divide by the total mass of the rod. So let's draw the, the rod again. Let's say it goes from x equals 0 to x equals L. And if we take a little arbitrary piece of mass here, then we're going to say that the position of the center of mass is, uh, well, let's see. So we'll have the integral of x, and each little piece of mass is the density of the rod, m over l, times dx. That's the little piece of mass divided by m. And so this is a pretty straightforward integral. It's going to be 1 over l times the integral of x dx from 0 to l. And this is then, let's see, 1 over l is 1 half x squared evaluated, and we end up with 1 half L, which is pretty much what we expected, right, that the center of mass is in the middle. So if we want to now find the center of mass of the whole system, then what we do, so let's now call this, say, um, one mass over here is M1, another mass over here is M2, and the whole rod has a mass, say, big M, then the position of the center of mass is, well, we just add all three. So if we start at x equals 0 at the left end, that means we have m1 times 0, plus now the big M, and its position is at half an L, that's where the center of mass of the rod is, plus m2 times the other side, which is L, and we divide by all three, m1 plus m plus m2. And you can simplify that and get the answer. So no matter how complicated the object is, you can keep adding up little pieces, adding up little pieces, and find the center of mass of the whole system.